Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. In this example, we're going to look at the break view command. At the moment, we have two drawing views, which are currently too big for the drawing sheet. So in order to fit them on, I'm going to break the views. To break the views, you go to view, layout, and then select break. Alternatively, if you tap your S key, you can access the break view command from there. Now, first thing it will ask you to do is select the drawing view to break. Uh, selected view cannot be detail view, crop view, or empty view. So we're just going to go ahead and select this first view. Within our break view property manager, we can add a vertical or horizontal break. We can define the gap size between the break lines and we can choose the break line style. This can be straight cut, curve cut, zigzag cut, small zigzag cut. I'm going to select small zigzag cut. As I hover over my view, we see a preview of the break line and we just click at the point where we want to start the break and click again at the point that we want to end our break. The view is broken for us automatically. And to position these break lines, you can either start to drag them about, or if you want to be very accurate with them, you can even dimension to them like so the dimension will actually disappear as you come away from the break view okay now if we go ahead and we project a view off this view you can see it automatically breaks uh, the projected view now with the view above in order for me to, to break that view I have to go to my break view command again and place my break lines on. Now in order to get these two line up perfectly, we could dimension to the lines again, or if we right click on the view, access its properties, you'll find within there that you can align the breaks with the parent, like so. Within the same view, it's possible for you to do multiple breaks. And they can be horizontal or vertical. This brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.